from the very beginning, Bessie had a very clear idea of what she wanted. Um, she gave us plenty of room to like switch minor things here and there, which helped us. But at the end of the day, she really stuck to what her original outlook was. Like she, she knew she wanted the conversation before going into the escape room of like, oh, the, the creepy stuff that's been happening. Did you guys hear about those teens that disappeared? A lot of people have gone missing recently in haunted places. Which helped build the kind of like a wink wink to the audience of like, hey, you know what you're getting into. <laughs> she knows what she wants. You know what you want. Um, and I think that whole aspect really helps in like me like as like an actress try to create that for Bessie. And working with her was, was one of like the best experiences ever. Working with Bessie is really fun. The fact that this was my second time working with her, you know, 10 years later. Even on my first film, because, you know, I was 10, so like my mom had to be there. And I remember her saying, like, Bessie's really professional, and like, this is a really good um, crew, and you have a great cast. What's changed is really that she just has more experience, and but you can see the passion that comes through on the project that was the same as 10 years ago. She's great, she allows us to be a little more collaborative on our characters than some directors would probably allow for. And um, yeah, it was a great experience. And yeah, she just, throughout the whole process, made sure we were on track uh, while also allowing us to play because that's, that's our job at the end of the day. And um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Dude, you totally sounded like a girl. It wasn't me. <laughs> you kind of did. A producer's main job is to make sure things get done on time and on budget and peacefully. <laughs> <laughs> and I was mainly concerned, of course, Bessie, she's a woman, it's a horror film, relatively beginning people. And I was concerned that we had a workable thing. I'm very happy to say that I went to the set every day and it was completely under control. I was amazed, actually, yeah. at the certainty and confidence that she exuded. Me being on set, it was actually very organized. And I have a thing about organization. It was very organized, so detailed. Um, Bessie knew what she wanted. She would come to me and say, this is what we need, and we would get it done because she knew. Her passion just showed as well. Her passion just showed that this is something that she wants to see come to life and have everyone enjoy it. That was definitely something that I see and I could see come through on set. Bessie definitely knows what she wants. What I do like about working with her, and I've worked with other um, directors, that she's very collaborative. Very collaborative. She wants to hear my opinions on how things should go. If I had an idea, she'll listen to it. And even if she doesn't agree with it, she'll like ask everybody else around and if everyone votes like, oh yeah, that's right or that's wrong, she'll go with it. So I like that even though she knows exactly what she wants, she's open to hearing differing opinions. It's cool to have a director that listens to you because there will be some that were, are just like, no, my idea works. We're going with it. And then they get to editing and they're like, <laughs> cut it. Just cut and it. That's the great Absolutely. part about that. <laughs> I heard it a lot today. I like yeah. that. I like that. I am like that.